Okay, we're just doing a little review of perimeter and area, but instead of using whole numbers or fractions, we're going to be using decimal numbers. And so with, uh, in your assignment, you're going to be, you're, I think you're going to have mainly rectangles. Um, and so uh, the perimeter formula for a rectangle, um, one way is to just add up all the sides. Um, another way, knowing that it is a rectangle, that uh, the top and bottom will be the same and the left and right will be the same, another way to write that out is to say that the perimeter equals two times your length, okay, plus two times your width, okay. And so um, if we were to do this problem to find the perimeter, we would just plug in our length and our width and then uh, do some math. So if I were to rewrite that, that would look like this, 2 times 11.92 or 11 and 92 hundredths plus 2 times 4 and 5 tenths, okay? Now, we might have to do some uh, math on the side here, um, we can, and we can do that. So 11 and 92 hundredths times 2, it's going to be 4, uh, 18, 2, 3, and we've got 2. And since we have two decimal places, we want to bring that over. So this is going to be equivalent to 23 and 84 hundredths and 4 and 5 tenths is going times 2 uh, that should be 9 I know that 2 times 4 is 8 and a half times a half is going to be 1 so we're going to add that that's going to be 9 okay now we're just adding these two together and so our perimeter uh, and if since we don't have uh, any decimal numbers here, we can just add that 9 to the 23 and then bring down the, the 84 with it. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll write it out, but uh, before I do that, let's just see if we can figure that out. 23, point, uh, excuse me, 23 plus 9 is going to be uh, 32, 32 and 84 hundredths. And let's just make sure that was correct. So 23, 84, and I'm going to add the 9. Notice the 84 comes down, and we're just adding 23 plus 9. So that's going to be uh, 12 and 3. So yes, 32 and 84 hundredths. Now, the unit of measurement is in centimeters, and because perimeter is a one-dimensional uh, form of measurement, our unit will just be centimeters. Okay? Now, let's go ahead and do an area problem using these numbers. And area of a rectangle is going to be length times width. Okay? Length times width. And here we have our length, this is our width, this is a multiplication problem. So we're just going to write it out as such. And remember, when multiplying, we do not need to line up our decimal places. So this perimeter and area, uh, these problems are going to be a great review for you on how to set up mainly addition problems and multiplication problems using decimals. So 5 times 2, that's going to be 10. Uh, that's going to be 45 plus 1 is 46. Uh, 5 plus 1, or excuse me, 5 plus 4 is 9. And 5. And then we're going to go down the next row. You could put a 0 here as a placeholder. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 9 is 36. Carry the 3. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and then 4 times 1 is 4. Now we're going to add 6, 8, that's 14, whoops, 14, not 8. 
and then carry the one, so that's 10, plus 6 is 16. Carry the one, uh, that's 6, plus 7 is 13. Carry the one again, I've got 5. Now, let's look at our place values here in each factor. We've got 2 here and 1 here. 2 and 1 make 3, so we're going to move 3 to the left. 1, 2, 3, and our answer, so area, is going to be 53 and 640 thousandths. Centimeters squared. Area is a two-dimensional uh, form of measurement, so we need to uh, show that second dimension by putting a exponent, a two, uh, an exponent two in our unit of measurement. Now I want you to take note of something. We wrote the answer as 53 and 640 thousandths. Now if you chose to drop that zero and instead have 53 and 64 hundredths centimeters squared, that would be okay. That would be the same thing. Um, and uh, that would be acceptable because we have no other digits beyond the four um, and that are, you know, anything but zero. If we had, say, a one, then we wouldn't be able to drop it. Um, but because it is a zero and there are no other digits after that zero, um, we could drop that and just work our number to the nearest or to the hundreds place instead of the thousands place. So our perimeter is 32 and 84 hundredths centimeters, and our area is 53 and 64 centimeters squared, or 64 hundredths centimeters squared. So you're going to be given some uh, problems, uh, and I believe they're all rectangles, and you will figure out the perimeter and the area of those rectangles.